Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's up, guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today, we're talking about stealing bases using a stopwatch. All right, so if you watch a game, what you're going to see is the first base coach and the third base coach are always going to have stopwatches on them, okay? The whole idea is, is as a base runner, we want to know our chances of being successful or unsuccessful stealing a base before we even run, right? We don't want to just guess. We don't want to just go, uh, let's just flip a coin here. I'm not really sure, but hey, we'll go, right? I want to have a really, really good idea because I have to steal. In order to make a stolen base attempt worth it, I need to be right. I need to be safe around like 80% of the time, okay? If I'm stealing and I'm on a 50-50 clip, it's not a good idea to be running, all right? The way you get a good idea is using a stopwatch. So you really need to know three things, okay? So the first thing I need to know is how long it takes the pitcher to deliver to the plate, okay? So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a coach use a stopwatch and when the pitcher comes set, when his front foot lifts, I'm gonna start the watch, okay? And I'm gonna stop it when the ball is caught by the catcher, okay? So foot lifts, I start, boom, ball's caught, I stop, okay? One, three, five, okay? So one, three, five on that right there. So now I've got that number in my head. That's how long it takes the pitcher to deliver the ball to the plate, okay? The second time is the catcher's pop time. So when the ball hits his glove, I'm taking a time to the point that it gets to the catch to the middle infielder's glove, okay? So boom, once it hits his glove, now he throws, bang, hits the middle infielder's glove, I hit it again, two, one, five, okay? So now I add those two numbers up. That's how much time I need to be able to get to second base. Now the third time is how long it typically takes me to get there. And this number you wanna get in practice. So get out, get in your lead, put a pitcher on the mound, have him pick over, have him pitch, and steal bases. And have somebody time you from when you go till your foot hits the base, get that time, okay? So let's do it, boom, he runs, he slides, bang, hits, three, four, five. Okay, so now I just have to add all those numbers up. Okay, so I add the number from the pitcher to the catcher with the catcher to the second baseman or shortstop. All right, and I get that number. Let's say it's a let's say he's a one four to the plate and a two one the second base, so a three five. Okay, so I have an idea, right, that he's going to be a three five. I've gotten our coaches have gotten the pitcher's time. And I've gotten the catcher's time, whether it was between innings, whether it was from a game before, whenever I got that number, I've got those two numbers, right? So let's say it's a 3-5. Now, I've done all my homework and practice. I know how long it takes me to steal. Let's say I can steal in 3-4, okay? 3-3-5, three, 3-4, three, three, let's say I'm a pretty fast guy. Now, I can much, easily, I can much easier get on base and go, I wanna run here. I know I can make it, right? Or I've got a really good idea that I can make it. Now, you're not always gonna be 100% right because there are variables. You may get a good jump, you may not get a great jump. The catcher may throw the ball a little bit offline. The pitcher may be a little slower, a little faster, but we've got a really, really good idea. We're not just, like I said, we're not just flipping coins and just be like, ah, yeah, let's run. Let's let's see what happens, I have no idea, right? And when you know, when you know that, well now, you're gonna be able to more successfully steal at that 80 or so percent clip, right? Because you're not just gonna run into silly outs when this guy's a 1-1 and that guy's a 2-0 and you have no chance and you're like, I'm going, and you're out, okay? So hopefully that helps you guys out. Again, make sure your coaches should always be taking those times. That's why a lot of times you see the runner get back to first base and they'll lean over here. Usually the first base coach comes over and kind of gets close to him. What he's usually telling them is, either the time or if the coach knows all these times he knows the base run he might lean over and be like hey man you're good to go here right so make sure that a coach should have that and if he doesn't have it then get, when you're on the bench find a stopwatch find somebody that has one and take your own time so that you know as a coach I'm always you know when I'm coaching third base I'm taking every pitch okay and then once I know the times right I know the catcher's time 
I'm getting the pitcher's time. I know the base runner's time. Can we put them through it in practice? So now I know everybody's time. So I'm going boom, boom. I'm looking. And then once I go, yep, we've got this one. Then I can put the steel on. Okay? So that's how it works. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Share with all your friends, all that good stuff. Uh, check out the description box below. We've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. Click on the link, type in Antonelli, get 50% off your first Plate Crate. Also have a link to our Patreon page where you can help support the channel. We'd really appreciate that. And that's like it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.